Hey everyone, it's Jan. I just wanted to come on and share a few collective hauls that I've done over the past week, I believe. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, first is Tuesday morning. I went last week on Thursday during my lunch hour. And I felt like I found a ton of um, stamps. So um, the first one I found was this house mouse stamp called Baby Blanket. This was only $1.99. And has a little mouse sucking his thumb with the little blanket. And I thought that was cute. I found this one called Tennis Anyone, so this one was $2.99, and the little mouse is on the tennis ball. And then I got this one, says First Aid, that was also $2.99, and the little mouse is putting a band-aid on his belly. Um, this one is called Dearest One, and he has like a little card. Um, so I thought that was super cute, and that one was $3.99. This one called Gifts Galore. This one was also $3.99. And so a little mouse carrying all these gifts. And I believe the last house mouse one I found is this one. This is called Pond Song. And it is the little mouse with little mice singing and the little frog in like the pond background. And that was $3.99 as well. And then also on that particular trip, I did pick up several Graphic 45 stamps. So, let's see. Um, the first collections I picked up were these ones. And these are the Cafe Parisian 1 and 2. So this is the one. This one was $4.99. And that's what this comes with. And then I picked up this one. This is number two. There's this. Cute if you can read it. But I really liked this big background kind of pastry looking one stamp. And then do anything um, but let it produce joy menu and then this design. And then I did pick up, let's see, this one is Hollywood one and two. So I found this one. This is from March, it shows, and this was only $3.99, so I figured might as well pick it up for that price. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. But that's what this one looks like, and I like this shining bright like a diamond and born to be a star and everything like that. And then this is number one, and this was $4.99. And this says, not all stars belong to the sky. I thought that was a cool saying. And then I'm not for sure what this one says underneath that. But I really like this, like, uh, movie thing. Because we um, have gone to, like, Universal Studios and stuff like that. So I figured this would be good on layouts. And then the last one I picked up is this Midnight Masquerade 2. This one was $4.99. And I just thought this was really cool. It says, stay close to anything that makes you glad you are alive. Um, there's a little mystery hidden something. I don't know what it says, but I just thought the stains were cool and the um, stamps on this one. They did have a few other ones, like off to the races and a few, but um, I kind of wanted to limit myself because I knew the Tim Holtz stuff was coming out, you know, in a few days. So these are the only ones I picked up at this time. And hopefully they're good quality and everything. I know in the past I've had a few graphic pretty stamp 45 stamps and they've been pretty good there have been a few that you know the images weren't you know crystal clear and stuff but maybe that's just how they're supposed to be and then I did find on that particular trip this liquid pearls this was 349 that's cute I thought those colors were really pretty and I did find this little lonely paint dauber um, it was grape soda and this is only 99 cents. I'm sorry for lighting. It's kind of, I have the light directly above, but it's kind of evening. So, um, I don't know. Maybe that's why it's kind of making it dark. And then I did find this Tim Holtz jute stri um, string. This was only $1.99. That's that. And it's like kind of um, jewel tone colors. So happy to find that. And then I did pick up these two dilution stamps. These were $4.99. So this one was uh, one they didn't have out last time. But I did notice um, the stencil that comes with it is exactly the same stencil um, that I shared in my previous video that I paid $1.49 for. So if you guys 
uh, find the individual stencils, check and see if they match to the ones for the stamps, because obviously it's not worth it if you don't need two of the same stencil, most likely. But also I've noticed um, the one with the dog and the cat and then the legs, I think, actually are the same size as the 8.5 by 11 like sheet that you get that is the red rubber on the back. So I actually have that stamp set and I was like, I didn't realize, you know, these, a lot of these stamps are actually the same ones as they have already made. Um, so I'm probably going to return a few of these just because I already have these or like these two I think are on a stamp, another stamp set, you know, and then these legs are on a different stamp set. So if you guys already have dilution stamp sets, make sure you check what you have because a lot of these are duplicates that they just combine two different stamp sets together into this or, you know, whatever. But I did pick up this flower one too, so this one was also $4.99, and that's the stencil it came with. And then I picked up these Bella Boulevard Puffy Hearts stickers, and these are the Blueberry Mix for $1.49. I figured I can never have enough of those. So that was everything from that particular Tuesday morning trip. Um, this past weekend I did stop by um, Hobby Lobby. And didn't really find that much stuff. They had already taken all their sell signs down. So I had to kind of use my phone to find out what was on sale. So I did pick up this piece of big felt for a project that I'm working on. And this was um, 99 cents. I did find this infinity scarf in their clearance section. It's just like a t-shirt material, blue and white stripe. And this was on clearance for $1.99. So I thought that was a really good deal. Um, on my phone I did find they had the washies on sale, so I did pick up this one. I thought it was super cute. The little, um, let's see if that focuses better, little cats with the glasses and the little um, French bulldog. And so this was 50% off, so it was $2.50. I was going to pick up another pack of washi tape, but I wasn't for sure um, if I had it or not, so I figured I'll just wait when they have the next sale. I picked up this chip decor flamingo. This was 50% off, so it came to 75 cents. So I thought that would be cool on a project. And then I used my coupon and picked up this Tim Holtz 3D texture fades. And this is the lumber, and it makes like the wood grain. So I can't wait to use that. So that was $7.99 plus the 40% off. And then the last few items I picked up were just from their clearance section are some of these little ribbon spools for 25 cents each. So I got this one. It's kind of like a burlap beach kind of theme. So I got the two they had. I figured these would be good on like beach theme kind of cards. And then I also picked up these two. Um, it's like a cream and orange. I figured these would be good for summer theme cards or Halloween, whatever, for 25 cents. Why not? And then this is like a navy blue like burlap. Um, and this was also 25 cents. So that's everything from... Um, Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to come back because I'm running out of memory on my camera and share with you the rest of my hauls. So I hope everyone's having a great day. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you guys like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.